Welcome to iLecture Online. On this example, we're again given a number of answers, in this case, six possible answers, various numbers, and the last answer, none of these. And that always is a problem because let's say that the answer comes out to be something different than the possible answers given, you tend to be hesitant to say none of these because perhaps you made a mistake. Also, in this particular problem, we're dealing with centimeters and grams, and we're asked to find the power and the power is expressed in terms of, well, that would be watts. So the answer here are all in watts, which means that we're going to have to convert. We're asked if a mass of 100 grams is lifted up 200 centimeters in five seconds, how much power is required? Well, let's start with the definition of power. We know that the power is equal to work divided by time, how much time it took to do that, and in this case the work would be the change in potential energy divided by the time. And of course potential energy is mgh, so this can be written as the change in mgh over time. And then of course m and g are constants, so this can be written as m times g times the change in h over the time that it took. So let's go ahead and plug in the numbers, but we need to convert to make sure we have it correct. So the power is equal to the mass, 100 grams, which is 0 0.1 kilograms. So that would be 0 0.1. G is 9.8. This change in the height is 2 meters. 200 centimeters is 2 meters. So that would be times 2. And the whole thing divided by 5 seconds. Let's see if we get one of those answers. My calculator was hiding there. All right, so we get 0.1 times 9.8 times 2 divided by 5 equals, and I get an answer as follows. The power is equal to 0 0.392 watts. Let's go over here and see if you have the right answer, and oh yes, it is. One of the answers is correct, so that, assuming we made no mistakes, the answer D is the right one. It's always troublesome that if you don't get one of the right answers, you wonder, did I make a mistake, or, hmm, did I, do, did I do do it right? Well, let's check one more time to make sure it's not answer F. So again, powers work over time, change in potential energy over time, which is mg times the change in height over time. The mass in kilograms, 0.1, g is 9.8, and the distance is 2 meters, divide by the total seconds of 5, and do it one more time, so 0.1 times 9.8 times 2 divided by 5 equals, and yes, we did get the right answer in number D, or letter D, not number D. And that is how it's done.